Dad, helicopters always look like chaos in motion. How do all those spinning blades stay in sync without crashing the thing? Great question, Steve. Helicopter blades stay in sync thanks to a combination of mechanical coordination, rotational physics, and some clever engineering, especially in the rotor hub. So all the blades are physically connected? Exactly! The main rotor hub links all the blades together. When the rotor spins, every blade rotates at the same speed because they're mounted on a shared rotating shaft. But they flap up and down, right? Doesn't that throw off the balance? That's called blade flapping, and it's actually designed. Blades flap, feather, change pitch, and lead lag as part of normal flight. But they stay in sync because of a swashplate mechanism. What's a swashplate? It's a two-part rotating disc that tilts and moves up and down to control blade pitch as the rotor spins. It allows each blade to change angle cyclically as it rotates, maintaining sync for lift and control. What if a blade tries to go out of sync? That's where dampers, hinges, and centrifugal force come in. They resist random movement and bring blades back into phase. In rigid or semi-rigid rotors, the structure itself keeps everything tight. So even though the blades flex and tilt, they're still talking to each other? Exactly. It's a dynamic system, but it's engineered to stay synchronized to the millisecond. Any serious desync would cause vibration or worse, so everything's tuned to avoid that. Makes sense. Now I know helicopters aren't flying apart, just flexing like pros. Yep, blade sync is what keeps the lift smooth and the pilot in control.